Let me ask you a question. Why aren't you over your ex yet? Has it been too long already? What is preventing you from moving on further? Hi, I'm Eddie, and in my work as a breakup expert, I have learned that there are mostly two unconscious processes that are working against you in your recovery. And these are mindsets and belief systems. I know how it feels, and I know how you feel. I know the gut-wrenching pain you are going through and the overthinking process that is going on 24-7. And what you have to understand, one really important thing about your recovery is that it's an addiction. Scientific studies have shown that the recovery from an ex-partner is almost the same as recovery from, let's say, alcohol or drugs. You crave your ex the same way as you would crave your drug. So we have to keep this in mind when we try to get over our ex, because now when we know what we are dealing with, then we can react much better to the situation. So what this really means, if we stay on the metaphor of addiction, is that you create your drug, which you can have because your ex is gone, in your mind in order to be with them. And you do that excessively. That's why you overthink, that's why you ask yourself all the questions, is because you don't want to lose them. So you keep them alive in your mind. And that can go on for a very, very long time. Fortunately, the physical part of the addiction will get less and less over time, because you realize that there's nothing you can do to have them around physically. But on the other hand, reason number one, keeping them in your mind is getting stronger and stronger over time if you don't stop it. Is it really the acts that you miss or is it maybe the idea of the relationship, the idea of a future together, the idea of you know being together forever? That's why the longer it takes, the harder it gets. Another thing that is very important is to follow the no contact rule. How can you get over your addiction if you have the drug right next to you? How can someone who is working in a bar with, let's say, alcohol, how can, how can he beat his alcohol addiction? It's not possible. You have to remove yourself physically from your ex, then mentally from your ex, and that's the first step to getting over them. And the next thing you need to do is you need to accept. Because as I said in the last video, Acceptance is the first real milestone of your recovery. It's when you start to feel better. So you need to accept. You need to accept that the breakup happened. You need to accept all the circumstances, no matter how bad they were around the breakup. You need to accept that they're gone and that they are not coming back. I know it hurts just to think of this, but it, you need to do this. It's really a necessity before you can take the next step, which is moving on. So acceptance is the key to everything. I know that you think all of this is easier said than done and I can't do it. But let me tell you this. I was really, 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 really down and I never thought I could get over it. Really. And I did. Because after some time, when I understood the whole process and I had help from the side, I did the right steps in the right direction and it got better and better and better with every step and so can you. You can do it too. So that was it for this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up. Also if you need help go to my site, subscribe to my free newsletter and you will get daily motivational, educational, inspirational newsletters that will help you to do the best in your situation. Okay, that was it for today. I wish you all the best and never forget, be free, live limitless.